Storytime. My name is Malia, and before we get started today, this is a picture book that we'll be reading today. Uh, so older kids may not enjoy it as much, but everyone is welcome for this story time. All right, so before we start reading our book, let's go ahead and sing our hello song. This is the way we say hello, say hello, say hello. This is the way we say hello so early in the morning. Great job, everyone. All right, so the book that we're reading today is We Wish for a Monster Christmas uh, by Sue Fleece and illustrated by Claudia Renuki. We wish for a furry monster, a big, hairy, scary monster, our own stomping, chomping monster for Christmas this year. Our friends will get to know him and over the snow we'll tell him, we'll take him to school and show him there's nothing to fear. Would you guys take a monster to school? Yeah, I think I would too. He'll eat all our peas. We'll check him for fleas. He'll hang by his knees from the brass chandelier. Our dad says we cannot buy one or rent one or even try one. But we know a guy who'll fly one of those monsters right here. Oh no, who do you think they're talking about? Should we find out? Santa Claus to help with our costs. Okay, you may have one. You've been good all year. Well, that's good news for them. That's good that they've been good. Our mom took up meditation. Our dad hollered in frustration, but we had a celebration with monsterly cheer. Wow, look at their big monster. He's pretty floofy. It's a lot of hair. Uh oh, a monster is causing trouble. Request backup on the double. The playroom has turned to rubble, which we have to clear. Oh man, look at the mess that he made. He even has footprints all across the floor. Can anyone tell me what color these footprints are? Blue, great job. He's making a mess and causing a stress. He's using mom's dress as a tissue. Oh dear. Oh no. It's a very pretty dress too. He ate every chair and table. He chewed through the TV cable. So dad says we won't be able to keep him in here. Oh, that's kind of sad. It looks like he's going outside. Do you think he'll be okay? Let's find out. We brainstormed all day and found a great way for our monster to stay without being too near. He now lives out in the backyard and makes a terrific night guard. See, owning a monster is not hard when you've got the gear. Look, he has a little list of all the things he needs to do, like eat leaves, take out the trash, let's see trim the hedges, and he's crossed off quite a few. Great job, monster. We sure love our furry monster, our big, hairy, scary monster, our own stomping, chomping monster. But here's an idea. We'll wish for a bunch of monkeys, our own silly screeching monkeys. Just 500 swinging monkeys. Oh my goodness, what do you think they need 500 swinging monkeys for? Oof, let's find out. For Christmas next year. Oh man, that's a lot of monkeys. The end. 
Thank you guys for joining me for story time. Now it's time to sing our goodbye song. This is the way we say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. This is the way we say goodbye so early in the morning. All right, everyone, goodbye. And remember that this book is available for checkout at your local library.